Well, good afternoon, everybody, and greetings from Atlanta, Georgia. We're heading over to Atlanta Movie Tours. We're going on a tour of movie shooting locations that took place in Atlanta, Georgia. The tour that we're going on today is the Hero Tour. I think it's geared mostly around like superheroes, maybe a little Walking Dead, maybe a little Hunger Games. This is where we're going, Atlanta Movie Tours. Get in, geek out. This street is used on Fox's The Resident, right outside of Atlanta Movie Tours. This building was used in Hunger Games Mockingjay. Also, Civil War. This building is where Crossbones was blown up into. This is Lagos, Nigeria. been used for Walking Dead before. This used to have a bridge. It was used in Walking Dead for Rick walking into, riding into the city. And they got a picture of the building right Yellow next door. Here was the Thai restaurant. And it was an Easter egg that they Homecoming. had hidden. Thought you loved Larb. This was Dead, the building years of the United Nations. Civil War, I believe. Yeah. There's yeah, the Capitol building, yeah. which will be used as the White House. Uh, but yeah, I came from Dahlonega, Georgia. That looks like Falcon and Winter Soldier. And coming up on the giant pet scene. Ant Man. Yeah. Oh, we can't make it. Uh, we got filming down there? I think yeah. we do. There's filming. Mm. Oh, There's more right. filming yeah. taking place over here. Georgia was really smart. It used to be us. Did we just kind of go around it? Yeah, we just went around it. Or filming. Is that like a SWAT? There's like a SWAT. There's a couple <laughs> army trucks right here. Folks, we'll kind of check this out. It's a little more interesting than me running behind. Planes on top of those. You see those? Yeah. There must be some stunts going on today. <laughs> this building the flat iron building is where Iron Man flew through. They were filming the war. They were in Central Park supposedly, but they really weren't. They were in this park over here. <laughs> This was used in Hunger Games, Catching Fire. And this was also used for Spider-Man Homecoming. So I believe in Spider-Man Homecoming, this is where the Vulture comes through the top, crashes in. So another cool spot for Spider-Man Homecoming where Spidey goes after the bike thief, rockets the thief back up via web. And ironically, the building right next door was used for the scene in the bodega from Venom when he goes after the criminal. Wait, I know a place down here. We are Venom. Name is Chen. The funny thing this was is, though, when fight they, scene with Captain America you know, you and Civil War. To go watch on film the inside has the CDs when they for Walking Dead. I heard they might. This is the Walking Dead skyline shot. Rick. Oh yeah, yeah. No, not rush. Uh, I like to this think apartment they building was from here because Black Panther. Of historical significance. Well, I'm gonna save and that the building is right across the street from the Martin Luther King Jr. I'm gonna save it for when we get back Center. on the bus. Is the apartments at the beginning of Black Panther and also at the end of Black Panther? <laughs> I bought this building. This will be the first Wakandan International Outreach Center. It is kind of cool that this location is used right up the block for the final resting place of Martin Luther King. Here's the final resting place of Martin Luther King Jr. and his wife. And the 
shot. This is eternal flame. Otherwise, I'm going to show you. They did film all this inside the there. Avengers headquarters. Almost all the interior shots were all shot inside of there. They just finished remodeling the whole thing. There you go. There's a good shot of it. One smart guy. That's a, that's a smart guy. It didn't hurt our chances of maybe being able to. Tyler Perry Studios. <laughs> we might go ask him, but unfortunately, I don't think that my bosses would appreciate with the with Atlanta movie tours on the side. Actual <laughs> movie. This is district. And they 11. put up lots of different set pieces back there for that, as you can imagine. You can see buildings that I'm referring to. This area was used as Korea and Black Panther. They're, they're, some of them are owned by different studios. Some of them are just sound stages. There, we're back at the starting spot. That was a really fun time going around, seeing all the different locations. A little difficult when you're stuck on the bus because you can either see things out of one window or the other window and you miss some things here and there, but very much worthwhile doing the tour. It was three hours long. It kind of covered a whole gamut of things from the Marvel movies to Hugger Games, Walking Dead, etc. They have a whole bunch of other tours here too. But for now, we're going to get out of here. So thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. See you guys.